I thought I'd do a quick video on a couple of tests on my KDX engine. The, the ignition had played up and basically the coil had broken down and I was trying to work out why. So I bunged up the exhaust port and the carburetor port, put on a little pump and pumped a little bit of air into it. On KDXs and KXs apparently it's um, fairly common to have leaks in the actual castings and so you can actually get a bit of porousness. So here's me pumping the thing up, and if you have a look where the little hand is, you can see some bubbles coming out of there. That's even with, um, that's basically just oil that was there from the first, from the beginning. So the thing wasn't holding any pressure. And also I noticed that down the bottom where that little hand is, you can see these bubbles coming out from where the screw is. I hadn't had the bike for that long, and basically the previous owner hadn't done up the screws more than finger tight. Just those, the top and the bottom screw. You can see there with a bit of detergent on there how much bubble forming. There's a lot of air coming out of there quite fast. So it can be quite a significant quite a significant um, leak. Okay, here's my stators when they were still basically on the bike. The bottom coil there is the ignition coil, the source coil. So that's one that had, it basically got oil onto it and looks like it had died. I've got a couple of tests of that later on. The top coil, that's the lighting coil. So it's a lot fatter windings and does its job of creating some power for the lights. If you have a KX of course you won't have the lighting coil but the, the source, co source coil will be fairly similar. It'll give you similar sort of problems. This is the bung that we used for the exhaust port. It's just a little rubber bung with a bit of silicon and a bolt going through, a couple of washers. And there's the, at the bottom is the, the pump we used. It's just a small bicycle pump. Pumps up to about 6 psi. You get too much more than that you're going to start blowing out um, seals from the crankcase. Anyway, this is an earlier, or slightly later thing. You can see the amount of amount of air coming out through where the bolt is. That bolt goes through near the gearbox and so you're going to get gearbox oil over time weeping through and getting into the um, stator. When I took the cover off there was probably a couple of egg cup falls in there, uh, which may or may not have caused the trouble with the stator, but it was um, certainly a lot in there. Here you go, here's just a double speed one. I'd actually tighten the bolt up and you can see the amount of air coming through the casting there. That's a pretty porous casting. I'll have to find some JB Weld or something and get in there and clean the thing up and fix that. Okay, here's the stator. I bought a new stator from Ricky Stator, just sent over, jumped on the net and grabbed one. I like the stickers, so I thought I'd throw them in there as well. They're pretty cool. Okay, there you go, it's just a resistance of the new stator. Then I'll do a quick resistance test on the old one, which is still on the backing plate. Now you can see in this test, it's still got a bit, of, a bit of resistance there, but it was coming and going. What I'll do is if I touch the coil, give it a bit of a push, all of a sudden it goes open circuit. Yep. Now that's obviously the wire in there is just floating in the breeze and either connecting or not connecting, depending on what's happening. There's another test in a second where I'll do the same thing and... Basically it's a short. Yep, new coil. Still same resistance, good as gold. Then the original stator. The old source coil. Yeah, I'll put my lead on. Oh, there you go, short. If I give it a push, it makes no difference. So basically, it's broken by then. Time for the new stator. Thanks very much.